It took a considerable amount of effort to convince the others that nothing unholy had been taking place. Thanks to Narumi's testimony, coupled with Mio's apparent habit of freezing, they believed me. However, as I turned to leave, Narumi dragged me off to the side. It seemed like she wanted me to come see her later that evening in return for saving my hide. I couldn't really see a way for me to weasel me out of that, so I reluctantly agreed. That evening, I excused myself and made my way to Narumi's home, knocking lightly on the door. Hey, Narumi-chan, are you there? Uh, just a moment. The door is open, bud. Don't come in yet. Curious, I found myself wondering what the girl had planned. Perhaps she was preparing a meal, or something to surprise me with. Some sort of present? Or maybe she wanted to talk. Whatever the reason might have been, Narumi's voice once again sounded from within the house. Okay, you can come in now, Takahira-kun. Feeling kind of excited, I opened the door and walked in, the door sliding shut behind me. The room was darker than I remembered, and it occurred to me to hunt for a light. Foolishly, I began searching for a light switch, when I remembered that something like that was unlikely to exist here. I managed to locate a small lamp and a nearby box of matches, lighting it with ease. Turn around, Takahira-kun. I turned around and my eyes bulged. Standing before me was Narumi, only she seemed to be dripping. Taking in the view, I let out a shriek. For a moment, I expected to see the slime girl, but then I noticed the smell of chocolate in the air. P please tell me you're not possessed by some kind of chocolate spirit. I instinctively found my eyes drifting along Narumi's chocolate-coated figure, trying to find any sign that a spirit should be involved. When I found none, I felt myself growing increasingly nervous. Of course not, silly. Don't you like it? Don't you think it suits me? Oh, sweet and delicious? Well, well, I mean you're sweet and all, and not just because of the chocolate. What in the world happened? <laughs> Thank you. Don't worry about the little details. Do you want to taste? T taste Yeah, that's what I was told anyway. You put something tasty on your body and let someone else eat it. That's how you get close to people in your world, right? I think it was called... Inti... Inti me... Hold on! Did someone tell you to do this? B because you do realize there's no way this won't turn into... S -s 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 I stuttered as Narumi stepped closer, her pose causing me to swallow, trying my best to resist the temptation. At this rate, getting a stomach from eating all that chocolate would be the least of my worries. What's wrong, Takahira-kun? Don't you want to be friends? Or don't you like chocolate? I have some honey too, if you would prefer that. I love chocolate, but I d don't think honey will be any better. I don't get it. What's wrong? Is it because it's me? I bet if Mio or Chi-chan did something like this, you would be eating away right now. The day Mio-chan coats herself in chocolate is the day pigs fly. <laughs> yeah, she would never do something like this. But I still don't get why you're not enjoying this. Did I do something wrong? Um... Narumi-chan, you see... This is usually something people do when... You know... Oh! Oh! Uh, wow. I am... Um, wow, um... So... I guess I messed up pretty big, didn't I? Ah! I'm gonna kick that shrine spirit's butt next time I see her! Ah! Wait, Shrine Spirit? Did Tsuyuri put you up to this? Yeah, she told me this would help us bond or something. W well I guess we shouldn't let all that chocolate go to waste. Narumi, I need to talk to you about... What the hell is going on in here? Your vice captain is possessed by a chocolate spirit. Cho chocolate Do I look like an idiot? This is because of earlier, isn't it? N no it's not I promise someone just gave me a really, really, really bad advice. Really? Well then, allow me to give you some good advice. Go and get yourself cleaned up, now, before anyone else sees you like this. Honestly, you're the face of this village. You could have been called to defend it at any moment. Do you think yourself capable in a state like this? I think most people would. I am not finished! Narumi, you are sleeping in my spare room tonight. Takahiro, clean up this mess. If you do not complete this task before morning, you will not get to sleep. And if you do not complete this task before breakfast, you will not be getting any breakfast. That's a bit unfair, isn't it? I sighed. 
the shouting and angry glares from the samurai girl making me feel a bit too intimidated to decline her demands. As she marched the dejected and still chocolate-coated girl out of the house, shielding her with an old robe, I took a look around. It was going to take me hours to get rid of all this chocolate! If Ichiko ever finds out about this, he's going to give me hell. It had been a week since I came to this world. I spent my days helping out around the village and training with Mio and Narumi. I even tried my hand at repairing some of the damage done by Sakura. I still had no clue where I was, but I was enjoying the time spent here. Everything reminded me of things I had read about in the school history books, from the buildings to the people. I looked at the nearby girls and let out a sigh. The history books never said anything about fox girls or spirits. There were mentions of them in various religious texts, but they weren't real. So... You're sure this wedding sash will be able to get me back to my world? In the end, Maiko had been able to research the spell even further, have made huge progress over the past few days. Tsuyuri was able to provide some details. She believes that the spell will return something to where it belongs. I suppose it is worth a try. It will work! I know it will! I just need some time to prepare. I'm not sure if I should be grateful or worried. Still, I didn't think you'd be able to figure it out so fast, Maiko-chan. <laughs> yep! Magic is super easy! Just a wave and a flash and it's done! Except the time it will take you to prepare the ingredients. Do not underestimate the arcane arts, Maiko-chan. You have a gift. Make sure you treat it with the respect it deserves. A wave and a flash? Um, I'm not going to end up exploding into fireworks or something, right? Absolutely, probably not. I guarantee it. Don't worry, Takani. I won't do anything that'll hurt you, I hope. Unless you happen to be made of clay, glass, wood or stone. These all seem to shatter when you try to cast a spell on them. Ne, sama you didn't have to tell them that. Oh boy, good thing the human body is mostly made up of water. Let's take a break. I'm feeling a bit... Distracted by the younger girl's excitement, I didn't notice a sweat had started forming on my forehead. A sudden dizziness coming over me. Without a warning, I collapsed onto the ground, my breathing heavy and ragged. As my vision faded, the girls ran towards me, shouting my name in concern.